and we'll scout it. You know, if the Neanderthals had learned to use tools as fast as you, they could have caught up with the cave painters. Yeah, but then they'd still be around and we'd all be talking. Neanderthal. But we're not. The Neanderthals disappeared. The question now is, what happened to them? Let's see. They dominated Europe until about 40,000 years ago. That's when the modern cavemen showed up, and they brought a revolution with them. I'm talking about what we here at Bonehead Detectives call the revolution of the tools. Uh, when did we start calling it that? Since right now. It really was a revolution, you know. Look at these. Compared to the crude scraping tools of Rocco and his crowd, these are a giant leap forward. And they weren't only made of stone. The new tools were also made of bone, antler, and tusk. And they were way more efficient. The blades were made with incredible precision and were used to make even more useful things, like needles for sewing. So there was a fashion revolution also, with their cutting stones and needles that could make better fitting clothing. No tools like these were ever found with the Neanderthals, only with the more modern cavemen. At least, that's what everyone thought until a discovery was made in these caves in Croatia. Here at Vendia, bone points were found in a Neanderthal cave. And that's another reason for Neanderthal cheerleader Milford Walpoff to get fired up. Who cares whether things are made on blades or on flakes? These people are doing the basic elements that everybody points to as modern human behavior. Evolution means there's been change. Evolution means that we have evolved from creatures that weren't us, perhaps people that weren't us, people that were different from us. But Chris Stringer looks at the same evidence and still thinks that the Neanderthals just couldn't keep up. Right at the end of their time, the Neanderthals did start to change their behaviour. But I think this is a sign of influence of modern humans being there at the same time. Um, it's possibly a sign that the Neanderthals were under a degree of stress and were having to compete with these newcomers. Um, and it also might be a sign of, uh, uh, maybe, of, of trade between these groups, uh, that they actually were exchanging materials. So. The Neanderthals were capable of some aspects of this behaviour, but uh, I think in their own case, one had to say, in terms of their own survival, um, it was too little, too late. Poor old Rocco. Chris just won't give him a break. And neither will that rock. The Neanderthal man just wasn't cut out for this modern world. In the 40,000 years since he disappeared, the human race has invented everything from pop rocks to space travel. And we've built cities teeming with pedestrians dressed in high style. And bizarre contraptions called umbrellas, able to keep our state-of-the-art skulls dry in any kind of weather. Hard to believe it all started millions of years ago in Africa, when some ambitious ape stood up and said, Let the good times roll. Today, the mystery of their lives continues to fascinate scientists and the rest of us as we sift through the dusty remains of human history. Rocco and his Neanderthal clan set the stage for the drama of humanity, but they had to bow out when modern man got the starring role. It's kind of sad, but the Neanderthals did last about 200,000 years, and that's nothing to sneeze at. Achoo! Sam! Anyway, thanks, Detective Rocco, for giving us a guided tour of your world. I learned a lot about stone tools, and hey, good luck with that apple pie you're making. Detective Rocco, do you have anything to add? Uh, Detective Rocco! I guess he wants to be alone. I guess he has more important things on his mind. Just like Milford, Rocco is making a few ripples in the gene pool. He's got to if he ever wants to make a splash in the development of the human race. <laughs> Sam, you about done there? Yeah, uh, almost done. Well, so is today's show. The Neanderthals are gone, but thanks to Detective Rocco and our bonehead experts in the field, at least we got to know them a little better. Yeah, well... Whether Neanderthals were our distant ancestors or not, they're still part of the family of man. And what about your tools? Is your paperweight done? Yeah, just about done. Um, uh, I guess it's not a paperweight anymore. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a doorstop. Maybe it's just a rock? Yeah, I guess it's just a rock. So what now? Uh, I guess I'll throw it in the lake. What lake, Sam? The lake by my house. Oh. Oh, yeah, I like to skate on that lake. Hey, imagine having to shovel all that snow in the Ice Age. <laughs> yeah, and with a rock. Sure makes me glad that Dad has that snowblower. It'd be cool to skate everywhere, though. Well, I think I might snowboard. So, Allie, who do you think would win in a baseball game between the Yankees and the Neanderthals? Well, I think Detective Rocket would probably have some pretty good power. Yeah, and those little statue guys were uh, probably pretty fast. <laughs>